can have it. It's like this big by that big. I bought it once for Grandma. I bought a couple of them. But then I never ended up giving her another one because she didn't need any. So if you ever want it. They should just pick them up from like the dollar store there. Oh yeah, but I have a big one from the art store. Small eggnog latte with whipped cream. If you want it, just say so and I'll give you some. It makes really big colorful collages. So today is my 50th birthday. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Oh gross, it's going to seem like dry ass hands. <laughs> I'm Daryl Leary and I'm 50 years old. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you. So do I look 50? No, sir. You are a healthy man. You eat well every day. You don't smoke or drink or drugs. How old would you say I look? About 40. About 40? Yeah. How old do you think you look? I said 45. 45? Yeah. yeah. 17. <laughs> That's a lie, Raven. Oh. You don't have to call me out. <laughs> yeah, 17, my skin would be like blemish free. I have pictures of you when you were young. When we first met, you were 34. And you look like you were 20 something. So you always had a long look. I wonder if I'll get that or if I'll just age with my mom. Your mom looks young? For her age? <laughs> What's she like, full of wrinkles and um, brown lines? I guess no, not really. Honestly, I was pretty scared of turning 50. Seems so seem kind of terrifying, you know. I don't get it. <laughs> so you're scared of it. Yeah, I don't want to scare you. Why? Thirties are fun. Thirties are in the prime of your life. Thirties are. No, twenties is supposed to be bad. Yeah, you're still developing and maturing at twenties. Exactly. That's what's supposed to be maturing. Thirties are walk in the park, I think. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm, I'm at the age now where if I tell people I have my whole life ahead of me, they they pause and think about that. They're, and then they say things like, well, you have some life ahead of you. I mean, I wouldn't say your whole life. And, you know, it was, you're not young anymore. And, <laughs> I'm probably like more than halfway through my life. You don't think so? Over the hill. Huh? You're over the hill. They say when you're 50, you're more than halfway through your life. Generally, people live to about 80, 85. If you look past him, you're already well into the years. And his life average expectancy is 80. 81, I looked it up today. I got 31 years left to be awesome. <laughs> it's like, oh, a lot can happen in 30 years, though. A lot's happened over the last 25 years. He broke a lot of personal records, did a lot of things. Life happened in that time. Yeah, that's right. When you were 25, your daughter was here. Yeah, she was two when I was 25. Almost. I'm glad I wasn't an ugly baby, so I'm going to be so ugly. <laughs> She was playing with my Churchill doll, and I, ne I never found it since. Churchill <laughs> Yeah, a little wooden doll of Churchill, Winston Churchill. I think she swallowed it or something. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Probably broke it and hit it. Maybe she bit the head off it. I'm going to do my handstand today. I have to wait till after 5.45 p.m. because then I'll be officially 50 years old. Because I was born at 4.45 Pacific time in Kelowna, B.C. So what better way to start off my 50s than with a handstand to prove that I'm not old? And you can tell all your friends, my dad's 50 and he can do a handstand. I mean, that's cool, right? Yeah, I can just picture it now. I don't think I know anyone else that can. I don't think I even know like anyone my age that can. Yeah, there you go. Being able to do things that young people can't do is what makes life all worth living. <laughs> I think I'd fall on my head if I tried. Yeah, I have bad shoulders. My, my weight in my body would collapse. Yeah. Most of my muscles are my legs from being a runner. I don't have many arm muscles. Just why I developed at Walmart. It's tough. That is. It's hard work when you're lifting stuff for hours. Well, that's, that's like going to the gym. I can't lift more than 20 pounds. Like, I fit not I can if I need to. Well, they're not it's like a doctor's note, so I'm not supposed to. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to keep stressing yourself. And I, I just, I hate having to, like, walk across the store to find someone else. Like, can you please come lift this one thing yeah. from my one pallet to my other? Oh, yeah, because nighttime there's a lot less people. Oh, yeah. Our crew is usually, like, 15 to 17 people in average. And where do you usually work? You start off in the warehouse and you bring it out? 
No, it's usually aligned and waiting um, by those um, bunkers, by the, by the meat department. Mm -hmm. And then you have to sort the plates and sort them into the aisles mm -hmm. that they go food. And do you need anything else? No. I'm mostly in toys currently. I was in toys last year. I'm in toys mostly this year. When, um, when Debbie's out there, that's my world. Um, so, I've been looking for those um, Harry Potter Tamagotchis. They have them online. They have them, not online Walmart, they have them online at Lego. Tamagotchi Red. The actual Tamagotchi, oh, remember those? Like, yeah, they have Tamagotchis, but we don't have them. They have all the magical beasts. Yes. 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 I have them in America. I know. <laughs> the stupid rules. Most times, like hot coffee someone, they won't ship a lot of the stuff to Canada. Yeah. They only ship like eight hours. You can't get it. Ship to Canada. I don't know why. It's really stupid. Topic, it's like, you know, we'll just go on. But I'm like, maybe one day. But a lot of them are like, you can't ship from online. Pick up in store, but then they're all sold out in the store. Exactly. I'm like, I just want this box yeah. from you. <laughs> The day they make the Hogwarts uh, yeah. like, the Nazi, I feel like <laughs> shocked. I'll be like the first one there. I'm surprised that you haven't already. Like, I think it's a licensing thing. I don't think uh, J.K. Rowling wants to involve herself with Hasbro. Do you know Taylor Swift is the top artist of Steve? Yeah, I don't really care for any of your music. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. I feel like well, her followers are like sheep. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, she seems pretty generic to me. Generic. How can a human being be generic? Well, no, just her music. She donates a lot to food banks whenever she tours, though. So that's very nice. It's really good to her fans. I mean, um, I don't know. I'd, I'd much prefer like Lady Gaga or or Britney Spears or Madonna even. You know, uh, yeah, I like Madonna. Madonna's were good. You know, they uh, they make good dance music, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wasn't, you know. You know. 90s dance music, that's what I'm all about. Machine Head coming in January, I think. Machine what? Machine Head. Machine Head? I've never heard of them, what are they? It's a metal band. I think I discovered them in like... Hey, Raven, can you do the same thing with your eyebrows that I can? I can do a wave with my eyebrows. I can raise this one very slightly, but I, I can't raise this one that's way. So, yeah. The wave is cool, though. Looks like a wave, right? Best skill. Oh. That makes me sad. It's an important life skill. Can I do it? Sort of. My eyes just want to keep moving. I think I can I think I can do cool things with my eyes. Let me try. I can cross one of my eyes. What's that look like? You're looking up that way. 
Oh, it didn't look like a... Yeah, my mom used to always scare me when I was little. Don't cross your eyes, you're going to get stuck. It's like, really? Your eye went in the one one's like, yeah, I can cross one of them. It doesn't look like one eye is stuck in the corner and the other one's moving around? No. No? Oh, I'm going to have to practice, I guess. Oh, you see, like, cross one eye and then you focus with another eye, like, and then it Yeah. Sometimes I'll do that in pictures, I'll just cross the one eye. <laughs> it's a little bit like... How's that? Yeah, now you look like you're very special. Important life skills. I love you. My daughter, my wife. My wife of uh, Get it right. 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> June 8th is our anniversary. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 1970, January 7th, and year 1997, Jan, uh, August 21st, at 10.58 p.m., and I'm December 6th, 1973, at 10.58 p.m., and right now it's 1.47 p.m. He's obsessed with that. 10.58 p.m. on a rainy Thursday. It was minus 30. Yeah, on a rainy Thursday. You were born the same day of the week as I was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like Thursday. It's a good day. And for the first time ever, it's like above zero on my birthday. Oh, uh, it's been like that four years ago or five years ago. We had a really proud Christmas. I think, you know, winter is coming every decade. Yeah, but we had a really nice winter two years ago. I remember wearing just t shirt I don't remember too much. I can't tell you what I ate yesterday. January 7th, many years ago. I was playing bingo on my birthday. And I was wearing a skirt, bare legs, shoes. It was like 10 degrees. Hey, everyone wave goodbye to the camera.